Hello, I'm Jim Morningstar. I'd like to share with you an exercise I call the complete breath. I do a form of this exercise every day for reasons that you might find advantageous in your life. First, it's a relaxing and a centering exercise that can be done in a few minutes, but can have profound effect on your physiological well-being, your emotional balance, mental clarity, and spiritual refreshment and guidance. I do it each morning to start my day in a conscious and an uplifting way. Then again in the evening as closure and leading to peaceful sleep. The second reason for doing this exercise is it associates breath with a state of calmness and resourcefulness. So that during the day, if I start to feel anxious or uptight, simply reminding myself to take one complete inhale and exhale can bring me back to center. This can be done anytime, anywhere, without anyone noticing, except for the fact that you seem to be a relatively calm person and do not get rattled easily. Thirdly, by doing this kind of work, on a long-term basis, I find myself being more resourceful and trusting my inner guidance in all things that I do. I also tend to be more in the flow of life around me rather than feeling like a fish swimming upstream continuously. The exercise has four parts, which we'll go through together. As I said, these four parts can be done relatively quickly in less than a minute or can be extended to a 5, 10, 15, or even a 30 minute meditation if that's convenient for you. Let me start by showing you a graphic that can be useful in the visualizing part of this exercise. The bottom figure in the graphic represents you. There is a auric field around the upper part of your body and a center of light that goes from your heart up to the heart of a figure which represents your higher self. This higher self has a much greater perspective on who you are, your purpose for being alive, and the path that will be most beneficial for you in your life each day. The figure that represents you is also surrounded by a purple flame. This purple or violet flame is like your pilot light, which will continually burn away dross or things that are no longer needed for you in your life. Around that is a column of white light, which engulfs your physical body, your auric field, your violet flame, and your higher self. This is the sanctuary which we will create today in our four-part exercise. It may be useful for you in learning the exercise to find a quiet place free from distractions. If it's comfortable, let your eyes close, sit relatively straight, or lay on the floor, and Focus on your breath for step one. As you inhale, bring the air into your lower lungs. Your belly will extend a little bit. Then into your middle lungs and your rib cage will expand slightly. And then to your very upper lungs, which will expand the area around your clavicles very so slightly. Then as you exhale, you exhale from the upper lungs, the middle lungs, and the lower lungs. So you will keep an ongoing flow of energy as you bring the breath into, first of all, your lower, then your middle, then your upper lungs, exhaling from the upper, middle, and lower. And this lower, middle, upper, upper, middle, lower will continue throughout the period of this exercise. Step two involves 
bringing in not just air, but vital life energy, that which your cells have been longing for. Let it soak into every cell of your body. It's intelligent energy and it knows exactly where to go if you need an extra boost in a certain area or healing. As you exhale now, let this prana be a cleansing agent and release any toxic or unwanted material from your cells back into the environment to be recycled. Keep the inhale and the exhale going and let it refresh and cleanse every cell of your body. The third step involves bringing the pranic energy now into your auric field, your energy field that surrounds your body, including your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual or causal body. Let it nourish every element of your energy field and again as you exhale, let it cleanse your emotional body, your mental body, your causal body, all the parts of your auric field now get lighter and lighter with each inhale and exhale. This begins to be a very palpable feeling of the whole area around your body as well as your body itself becoming lighter. As this happens, you clear your airwaves, as it were, such that you can send out now a beam of light from your heart to your world. It flows from your heart unimpeded and embraces the world around you as a gift of love from you. An alternate way to do this sending out of light is to pick a person that you would like to give special loving attention to. It's not intrusive to them at all. It's simply an invitation for them to feel an extra dose of light healing energy. You can take as much time with this step as you wish. The fourth and final step of the exercise involves sending that beam of light from your heart now up to the heart of your higher self. This is your guidance. And as you strengthen every day the connection from your heart to the heart of your guidance, so will your clarity and resourcefulness increase. As you breathe, let this column of light get wider and wider now until it engulfs your entire physical body, auric field, the violet flame that surrounds and cleanses your physical body and your auric field is your pilot light, as it were, continually burning away all of the dross and reinforcing the sense of simplicity and purity in your spirit. And the 
column of white light also includes your higher self. This is your sanctuary. This is a place to which you can come whenever needed to reinforce, revitalize your life energy and to listen to your own inner guidance. Take a moment right now, if you will, continually inhaling, filling your lungs and your auric field, exhaling and cleansing. And in that background, tune into your guidance and listen for a message that is important for you at this juncture of your life journey. Don't force anything. You don't have to make anything up. Just be present and take whatever comes to you, even if it's just a sense of calmness and peace. stay as long as you want in connection with your inner guidance. You are in your sanctuary now and that sanctuary is protected. It has a permeable membrane as it were surrounding it which filters out anything that would be intrusive or out of alignment with your highest good but allows you to send your loving vibrations to whomever or whatever you want in your life. Know that you can come back to this retreat with the simple reminder of doing the complete breath to reinforce the truth of who you are and what your resources are as you go through your daily life. I thank you for spending this time with me and look forward to connecting with you in that timeless place of peace and love each day.